So today our Starlink package finally came in the mail and we only waited about two weeks for this here in mid-Michigan and where we are located we have no internet options except to get like the T-Mobile wireless and the Verizon wireless options. Both have been pretty poor performers for us to the point that they completely stop and cut out and we just have no internet service for extended periods of time even though we're paying for it. So we're going to give Starlink a shot. Here is the little antenna that came in the mail. It's pretty small, it's super neat, it moves around depending on where the best satellite options are, and it will even heat up to help melt snow and ice off of it come this winter. So we're going to actually get a pole or a landscape timber or something and mount this up a little higher. But just sitting right here in our yard, it has 100% coverage and no obstructions. The app tells you about obstructions and signal quality. This is the little box that sits inside your house. It's quite small. For now, we only have it temporarily set up and there's just a cable running through the window. Don't mind our dated house. It's well over a 100 year old farmhouse. And now we're gonna run a test on the T-Mobile internet service that we currently have. And this test should run from the ping to the download to the upload speed, but our internet cut out. So it's only able to get the ping and you can see it's just spinning there because there's no T-Mobile internet. It just completely stopped. If you look at the icon at the top of my phone, it shows the explanation point by the Wi-Fi. And I have no service all of a sudden. And this happens to us very regularly. So we're going to stop and run this again. Okay, we're going to try this the second time here and see what kind of signal strength we have. Because it says we are reconnected here. And so far, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything again, even though I am connected. But you can see at the top, once again, very poor signal, even though I'm right in the middle of my house. And great, my Wi-Fi just disconnected. This is what we run into every day, and one of us works from home, so it makes it exceptionally hard to work from home when your internet just randomly stops. We're going to try this one more time here, because it looks like the signal just came back up, even though I haven't moved at all. And this time it's picking up decent signal for what we normally get, actually. But this is the problem with what we've been dealing with with T-Mobile and Verizon. It's up and down, it's up and down. You can use it one second, you can't the next. It'll completely disconnect, and that's just not good for working from home. So now let's test the Starlink and see what we get with that. I'm using my mobile device here. I've got this pulled up on my phone, and right away, you can see much better connection at the top, much faster speeds instantly picking up. So far, right here in mid-Michigan, we're actually located just outside of Grand Ledge. This Starlink is working great, and we're super hopeful that we continue to have great service and great internet with Starlink. We'll update in a few weeks.